In this example, uh, we're going to practice uh, interpreting uh, inverse function notation. So we're told uh, that uh, suppose that on a certain day, uh, the number of Mexican pesos that can be purchased uh, for X American dollars is given by uh, this function G, whose formula is uh, G of X uh, is 1.10 uh, times X. And we want to interpret the meaning of this expression, uh, G inverse of 220 is equal to uh, 22. So we want to interpret inverse function uh, notation. So uh, for the function G, the input is the amount of American dollars, and then the matching output is the number of uh, Mexican pe pesos that can be purchased on this particular day, uh, because of course exchange rates uh, will fluctuate. But on this particular day, uh, this formula uh, gives us uh, the number of uh, Mexican pesos that can be purchased for X American dollars. Now, uh, that means that for the inverse function, G inverse, uh, the input and the output quantities are going to be interchanged. They're going to be reversed. So in the inverse function, the input quantity is going to be the uh, number of Mexican pesos, and the output quantity is going to be the American dollars. So that gives us now an easy way of interpreting uh, this expression. So this says uh, that 220 uh, Mexican pesos uh, can be purchased uh, for 22 American dollars on uh, this day. So we can just write down that interpretation. Uh, 220 uh, Mexican pesos um, can be purchased for 22 um, American dollars. On this uh, uh, given day um, that's being referred to here.